this is a pass jump question okay it's a pass jump question and we are asked on oh, well, this one <laughs> we are asked if x raised power of 2t raised power of minus 4 all over x raised power of minus 3t raised power of minus 3 is equal to s a s raised power of a to raised power of p we are asked what is 3a plus 6b this question is there uh, yeah, all right no problem let's solve this together okay when you have something like this this is under indices once you have raised power raised power raised to power they are under indices and they are already in the same base as you can see st 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 so there is no need trying to put them in the same base again so we move forward towards to the laws of indices that we are going to apply to get the result now what laws of indices do we apply here first of all the multiplication law what does that say the multiplication law states that if you have um x raised to the power of a and is multiplying x raised to the power of b that this is sentence as x raised to the power of a plus b now what does that mean let me bring it home okay it means if you have like 4 raised to the power of 3 times 4 raised to the power of 1 okay now what you need to do is that you pick one of these bases you pick one of them so you pick one and you add their power as long as they're in the same base and they are multiplying once they are multiplying you add their powers so it's going to be three plus one so it means that this is four raised to the power of four that is multiplication law okay all right keep that aside let's go into division law because we also use it here just follow me so that you see how i'm going to get the results okay all right going to division law division law is same thing is just like opposite of multiplication law what does that one say it says that x raised to the power of a divided by x raised to the power of b is equal to x raised to the power of a minus b now let me bring it to more so for instance, if you have 3 raised to the power of 2 divided by 3 raised to the power of 3, that is same thing as 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 3. That is, you pick one 3, okay, and you subtract their powers, 2 minus 3, all right? So, these two laws are what we are going to apply to what we are giving to get the result. Okay, so let's go ahead. Solution. Just keep in mind the laws that we just learned. So we have x raised to the power of 2, t raised to the power of minus 4, all over x raised to the power of minus 3, t raised to the power of minus 3 is equal to x raised to the power of a, t raised to the power of b. Okay? So we are asked to get 3a plus 6b. First of all, let me apply the division law here. Using the division law, you know you can rewrite this as this particular uh, question or this particular equation can be written as s raised power of 2 all over s raised power of minus 3 times t raised power of minus 4 all over t raised power of minus 3. Hope I can, you know, I can split this particular equation like this. Because if I split it, I can still say s raised power of 2 times t raised power of minus 4, I will get this. Then x raised to the power of minus 3 times t raised to the power of minus 3. I will also get this. So I have not changed anything. This is equal to x raised to the power of a t raised to the power of b. Okay, now this is equal to, you know that this is x raised to the power of 2 divided by s raised to the power of minus 3. Now we are going to apply the division law here because they are in the same base. Forget that they use alphabets here. They are in the same base, okay? So we are going to pick one S. We are going to pick one S. And we are going to subtract their powers. Now be careful here because there is a twist here. So we are going to sub uh, subtract their powers. Just stick with me so that you see how I'm going to get this result. But before then, if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please, I would like you to subscribe to this channel and also on your notification bell so that I won't miss you in my next class, okay? All right, thank you very much. Also, comment, let me know what you feel about what I'm doing in the comment section. Okay, now when you see this, what's next? You pick one S, like I said. Because they are dividing, you are going to subtract their powers. So it's going to be 2 minus. Notice that this is minus 3. Minus 3. So it's going to be 2 raised to the power of S raised to the power of 2 minus minus 3. 
Do you understand? This one is coming close. Let me bring it down a bit. Okay, so this is equal to s raised to the power of what? 2 minus minus 3. Okay, signs. Now, our t is this one too. They are in the same base. So, we are going to pick one t. t raised to the power of, we are going to subtract the powers because they are dividing. Raised to the power of minus 4 minus minus 3. You are subtracting the powers now. So, that is why you have minus 4 minus this word minus 3 is equal to s raised to the power of a t raised to the power of b. Okay? All right. Let us continue. We are actually close to the answer. Anyways. So, we ask 3a plus 6b. Let me write it here. Because I want to clean here. All right. So, what do we have here now? This is equal to what? S 2 minus minus 3 is same thing as 2. Minus times minus will give us plus. So this becomes s raised to the power of 2 plus 3. Okay? 2 plus 3. So it's going to be s raised to the power of 2 plus 3. Okay? Times t. Now, minus 4 minus minus 3, just like we did here. This is going to be minus 4 plus 3. Minus minus will give you plus. Okay? Minus times minus so will give you plus. So it's going to be minus 4 plus 3. Now, what is minus 4 plus 3? Minus 4 plus 3 is same thing as what? If you write this, your positive 3 first. 3 minus 4. Now, what is 3 minus 4? Is what? Minus 1. So, it means that this is same thing as t raised to the power of what? Um, minus 4 plus 3. That is 3 minus 4. It's going to be t raised to the power of minus 1. Okay? Is equal to x raised to the power of a t raised to the power of b do you understand okay now let us continue so this is equal to s 2 plus 3 will give you what 5 t raised to the power of minus 1 is equal to s raised to the power of a t raised to the power of b i believe you saw what i did and i believe you understood it 2 plus 3 will give me 5 then i remove the multiplication sign i join them together T raised to the power of what? Minus 1. Alright, so what do we have now? If you compare this and this, this is S raised to the power of 5. And this is S raised to the power of A. So it means that definitely our 5 is equal to A. Okay? That is just it now. There is no other way you can tell me that they are equal. Once they say that S raised to the power of 5, T raised to the power of minus 1 is equal to S raised to the power of A, T raised to the power of B. It means that our 5 is equal to A and our minus 1 is equal to B. Okay? So from here we can write that A is equal to 5 and our B is equal to minus 1. Now the question says 3A plus 6B. So it's going to be 3 brackets 5. Right? That is 3 times A. 3 times A, which is 3A. Okay, let me write this first. Or we can write it here. 3a plus 6b. Okay, we are asked to find what? 3a plus 6b. We will now be equal to what? 3 into. Now, what is our a? Our a is 5. We put our 5. Plus 6 into. What is our b? Our b is minus 1. You put your minus 1. Hope you understand. 3 into 5 because our a, our a is 5. And our B is minus 1. So it's going to be 3 into 5 plus 6 into what? Minus 1. Now this is equal to 3 times 5 will give us 15. Plus 6 times minus 1 will give us minus 6. Okay? So this is equal to 15. Sorry. <laughs> 15 plus times minus will give us minus. Okay? Plus times minus will give us minus. So it's going to be 15 minus 6. And that will give us what? 9 as the answer. Okay? Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye!